Hey, I'm uh, I'm here. Uh, this is gonna be a short one. I am going to try to beat the champion, which I'm still at, uh, and then I'm gonna try to catch the Lake Trio and finish the Sinnoh decks, and that'll be it for today. And that'll be it for the rest of the week until I get back from vacation. Uh, I didn't stream last night. Uh, I ended up kind of shifting all the stuff I was gonna do today to then, and I'm still short on time today. So, how's that? Um, if anyone was watching my Twitter feed last night, uh, you kind of know what was going on already, but I guess I could just briefly, very briefly touch on it. Um, so last night, uh, the anime for... Part 6 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure dropped on Netflix. Uh, all languages simuldubbed at the same time, which is really cool. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I might watch it tomorrow on my flight to Chicago. Don't know yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. I do want to watch it before uh, vacation is over for me. Uh, but I think the thing that was more... The thing that was a lot more uh, pressing and, and personal for me is just the dub announcement. Because, you know, it came out at the same time. Um, there's a lot of people in it that I that I know, or at least look up to, if I don't know them, like, at least to some extent. Uh, but I think, obviously, the most the most obvious one is that... Uh, is uh, that Kira Buckland uh, is Jolene, which is absolutely ridiculous. It, it's, it's the outcome everyone wanted, and we absolutely got it. Um, it's, 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 it's a bit weird to, like, be talking about this, but, like, it's, it's kind of, like, a long-known thing that, like, she, she dreamed about doing this role for a very long time, and, you know, I've, I, I used to be on the staff for the voice acting club, so I would talk to her occasionally, and I would, like, you know, be in group chats with her, um, I still, I still work on the board occasionally, just not on the Discord server, because, like, I'm just kind of clogging up space there, and it's it's pointless, so I, I stepped down. But, you know, it, there's a lot, there was a lot of talk about, like, you know, like, it, it's, it's, while it's easy to have a dream role or position, especially for something like voice acting, it's, like, the odds of nabbing it, even if you, you know, even if you put out the work, uh, meet the right people and all that stuff. It's very, um, it's very hard to nail those kinds of roles, especially a very specific role that only gets cast like once in, you know, in someone's lifetime, maybe not once, but like, you know, not often enough that you feel like you're going to get another chance at it. And the fact that, the fact that she managed to get that role is just so, so inspiring and that is what I was kind of like. I, I mentioned it before the last time I did one of these. That one when, when I did a dedicated one of these. Actually, no, it was before stream. Um, but yeah, that's kind of um, it's that's kind of why I've been like kind of weird the last couple weeks because I saw the trailer and you know I, I don't have any information that anyone else would have. Uh, but I I was like ninety nine point nine percent sure that it was her, and I was like. And I think most people were like that, you know, her voice is very recognizable and it's just, um, really cool to, to witness that. Uh, it's really cool to have met her and know, and know her to an extent. I'm very happy to have witnessed this all go down in real time. Uh, it was a very, it was a very emotional evening. That's all I'll say. But, um. I, I don't know. Like I said, the whole the whole thing has just made me kind of rethink how I feel about myself. Uh, I know I'm kind of like at a loss for words. I don't I don't want to drag this out, but like uh, th th this is making me feel more like you know like I can do stuff if I put out more effort 
I, or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I have to think smarter, not harder. Work smarter, not harder. Essentially, I think the, the point uh, that was made is that uh, even even the most out there impossible dreams and goals can be reached if you um you know it, 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 it may not always happen, but the discounting it and saying that it'll never happen is is not the way to go about it. And uh, you know it's it's given me a lot to think about. I'm very happy for Kira and for everyone that's in the cast. I'm looking forward to watching it, and yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say. I was going to try to make this way, sound way more serious than it is, but it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's people having fun and doing what they love, and that's what I want to do with my life. So I think that I might have to rethink some things when I get back from vacation, and uh, I just spent seven minutes talking about that. So, uh, last time I got up to the champion, and, uh, I got my ass kicked. This whole area kicked my ass. This game's not easy. Uh, so we're gonna try to beat this now. I mean, I, I really don't want to stop before beating this, but I might have to. I only got an hour and, like, a half before I have to stop. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna try to catch the Lake Trio just to finish the Sinnoh decks, and then I could start grinding some, like, post-game stuff offline. And then maybe finish this up post-game next week, uh, once I get back. Uh, I've only made one change off-stream since I can't leave. I switched out Swagger with Grass Knot, which is a special Grass-type move that does more damage the heavier the opponent is, which is perfect for Melodic. Milotic, excuse me. I played New Pokemon Snap, I know how it's pronounced. So this is only the second attempt I've made at this. I didn't really check the sound levels here. Hold on. I didn't really check the sound levels here. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Dropping a minimal frames. Perfect. We're good. Oh, I also I didn't sleep last night at all. I have been awake since about 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. yesterday. shouldn't have sent Olivia out first, but she has the amulet coin. So, I looked into it. It turns out that the Dazzling Gleam is the only fairy-type move. Or maybe, and baby doll eyes, but in terms of, like, you know, endgame moves, that's the only one. And no one on my team can learn it, so there goes the only uh, thing to counter Spirit Tomb. I might uh, just try to brute force Spirit Tomb. The big thing is that I can counter Milotic now, which is really good. It turns out, so my friend, the one who, you know, remains nameless and does not show up in chat and talks to me through uh, other programming, uh, they let me know, they let me in on a secret, and that's that Milotic has Marvel scale, which is why Cynthia purposely burns it, because it doubles its physical defense as a result, and it's like, oh. Well, shit. Wait, what are its stats? Regular attack is way higher. But I don't think Night Slash is gonna do a lot of damage here. Oh no, never mind. Crunch. Rice Krispies. It's slowly coming this way! That's what I think of when I see that. I think of uh, Enigma of Amigara Fall.
that hit me that hard. Probably gonna just gonna refill it, yep. I can't remember, like, I think this is the gen where they started limiting how many items they hold, the opponents hold. I think Cynthia only has three full restores, so once she uses them, she's not going to cure any Pokemon anymore. Okay, that thing's going to do Earthquake on me. Unfortunately, very, uh, beefy Pokemon. Oh, it's got leftovers, too. But if it's water and... Wait, is it water and rock? It might be double weak to Grass Knot. And it is heavy. Not heavy enough, though. Much better this time. The car is going to very much outspeed me. That is uh, Sean Shemo doing Lucario's voice. So yes, Goku is in Smash, technically. I wonder if she's going to full restore at the same time. Wait, why am I going to full restore? Use Max Potion. to bits. Oh, come on, of course. Alright, just don't die from this, please. Hold strong! Ow! I have to revive him. I need Grass Knot. How is... really? How does Jess have the highest speed? Alright, well... Big Mama has the second highest. But still goes first! Oh no! Ah! 
got the highest special defense. Oh, that's not good. Why am I getting swept? No! Oh, this sucks. Oh yeah, I gave everyone Pokeballs too, custom Pokeballs. Okay, come on, just outspeed. Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be absolutely kidding me. This was going so well. This sucks. Holy shit. Why is he- why is he capable of doing this? Yeah, sometimes in instantly infl- <laughs> instant death on- on my team. Yo, this- this ain't fair. This is so unfair. This thing is too powerful. Okay, we're good. Hey, lols. My team is down to 1 HP total. Oh, she's saving the Milo tick for the end this time. If you think I'm even going to remotely risk this, uh, you are very sorely mistaken. That's one back. It'd be nice if you withstood this so I could get another heal in. Nope. Why does- why- why do you know that? Oh my god, no. <sighs> oh, because I got caught. I got caught by the friggin' Lucario. If that thing didn't get- if that thing didn't happen, this would have been fine. But now I have to, like, play- I have to play back up here. And just get caught in a constant loop of, uh, healing. Man, that's gonna kill in another turn. Please, Empoleon, just hang on. Oh, come on! You guys aren't doing too well. They're both dark type. Oh no! What did I do? I fucked up! Okay. Alright. This is so annoying. It's so annoying that this is impossible to do. No, don't use Dazzling Gleam. Just miss. What stand? Don't faint. Come on. I'm just wasting. I'm like healing and then instantly falling. Oh, it's gonna outspeed me, really? Oh, man. This was going so well, the first few Pokemon, too. It would be nice if she used a full restore. Nope! The AI knows what you're gonna do, somehow. Like, they know. This is 
quite ridiculous. She gets to go first every time. Every time she goes first. Okay. I took one bit of damage and now I'm done. Burnt. So now it has double defense. Alright. Get Jess out here. We, we're going to full revive. And then we're going to start reviving others. I don't think Skull is going to do that much damage, so we're fine. doing it. Yes, do that, please. I went in a situation where I'm just playing full-time Doctor while my opponent is just non-stop smacking me, yeah. This has happened before, but not often. This game is not easy. The fact that Dazzling Gleam is like the only new fairy type move that they added to this, and it's being used quite often, and it actually does make the game a lot harder because I now have two dark types that are weak to it, <laughs> definitely doesn't help. Oh, it's out of Scald, I think. So I can't burn me anymore. That's good. Oh no, it's not a Scald. That's weird. I wonder why it, like, didn't use it that turn.
not the special. She's probably gonna full heal it now. Yep. Yeah, so the thing I was missing here is that it has Wonder Scale, which, if it has a status ailment, which Cynthia is purposely causing with the Flame Orb, uh, it doubles its defense, but only physical defense, not special. Ah, uh, what the hell was that move? That was neat. I'm glad that just happened. Got an answer for everything, I swear. Yeah, I'm water type. That's not gonna do a lot of damage to me. Hovering isn't good. I thought I had the cinched with the grass knot. Oh, man, all right. If I actually... I'm gonna be upset if I can't do this tonight, today, and I can't pull it out. Pulling out every cheat she has in the book. Okay, you can stop recovering now. I don't know what I'm going to do against Garchomp. It's not weak to any types I have on hand. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my god, why am I so unprepared for this? This game did not indicate that it was going to jump up this hard at the end.
Alright, maybe if I get lucky, I could switch to Empoleon now. <laughs> the problem is if I try using grass not too early, it's just gonna mirror coat me now. This is so dumb. Why is this so hard? Nothing was this hard up to this point. I don't understand why it suddenly feels like I'm struggling every single time. Possible. They don't prepare you for this. She's gonna outspeed me. With the ice beam. Oh no, she didn't. That wasn't enough! You've got to be kidding me! You've got to be shitting me! How is that not enough? Wait. Yes! Okay. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. do I am I'm out of I'm I'm so I'm so worn out here she's gonna get knocked out so quickly looking for. Oh my god, I just want to know the type things here. <sighs> Get 
gamble, but uh, that didn't pay off. It's gonna one hit KO me. Oh. And down. Down to my last max revive. Who's getting it? Mama's not going to be able to withstand it, but everyone else is going to get damaged by Earthquake. God, I hate Earthquake so much. I hate Earthquake so, so much. I t I'm out of options. I'm absolutely out of options here. Dragon Claw's gonna be gonna defeat me in one hit. <sighs> Has more than 64 HP left, so Nightshade's not gonna work. gonna outspeed me. Yeah, stick a fork in me. I'm done. Or wait, maybe not. Uh, I won't let this end yet. This match is too fun to let it end this easily. That is absolutely going to finish me off now. That was a critical hit. Oh. I... 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 Ah... Uh, 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 weak, weak to Earthquake, weak to Earthquake. We'll get killed by Earthquake. We'll not withstand it. Uh, fuck no. Um... So long. I guess I just won't upload this stream. <laughs> I've got one more shot at this, and if it doesn't happen, then I, I've officially failed. I'll just listen to a voicemail. One moment.
Hey, sorry. I, I wasn't looking at my phone. Um, until now. Okay, so I'm just straight fucked. Give one a focus sash. Yeah, but I'm gonna use that up so quickly, it's not gonna matter. That's not- it's not gonna help me at all. He's so useless, he's not going to do anything. I, I thought, like... It's so weird. Why? There's, like, such a difficulty jump from when you exit Victory Road to taking two steps forward into the Pokemon League. Like, I don't understand why it's so much harder all of a sudden. This difficulty curve was not consistent. got a little more time to handle this. It's, it's no problem. It's not always to turn swapping out. The amulet coin is not... is not, uh, important here at all. Give Ice Beam the Thief and a Paralysis move. Well, Thief isn't really going to help me too much. Paralysis, maybe. I might have to cheat and turn set or switch back on. And just and just abuse being able to switch out whenever she switches. This asshole again. Let's start with Night Slash. And then I could try to Wait, no, it's gonna Ice Beam me, isn't it? Yep. Yep, 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 yes. Yeah, but I don't need to worry about the 50% boost in defense because there are multiple ways for me to counter it. I gave Empoleon Grass Knot. The problem is, even if I get rid of it, she has Mirror Coat. Which also sucks. <sighs> the Lucario is a huge issue because he could just sweep, and it sucks. This is what caused me to, to get in a bad position last time. Now, if only I'd gotten the Quick Claw next turn, this would have it would have cinched this. Oh, double Quick Claw! Oh God, come on, Cynthia! That there's no way you knew that would happen. Yeah, th this AI cheats so hard. I hate it. Oh, 
oink. Or I'd use Earthquake or Rock Tomb or whatever. Make my make my day awful. Now I gotta outspeed Lucario again. I, I hate that she just has a counter for everything. It doesn't matter what you counter her with, she's gonna counter you back, and it's gonna result in you losing. This is looking very familiar. Alright, but it's still up below half health, so Brian's gonna do twice as much damage. There we go. Energy Breaker! Yeah, I'm, I'm Steel, so that's not going to be super effective. That probably wasn't a smart move. No, I should have just gone for the hit. And there we go. Yeah, Cynthia is like red level difficult. And I heard post game, her team is like the hardest team in any Pokemon game ever. It's ridiculous. Slightly not strong enough. She's slightly too light for that to be useful. And and Quick Claw keeps proccing when I don't want it to. It needs to proc uh when she yeah, well, I guess she was gonna use recover, but Oh my god, alright. isn't working the way I want it to. Out. If, oh, come on. If I. Oh, but she's gonna full restore, isn't she? Yeah, it's not even worth it. Oink, oink. Alright. Burned again. A good time to use this as well. Don't, 
What is how good is Metal? Oh, well, Metal Claw's physical. It's gonna be shit. Okay. Yeah, that does nothing. What have you done, Derek? Nothing. I invented the piano key necktie. Look at it, it's gotta be Brian. Brick wall meets unmovable object. Or unstoppable force meets un unmovable object. There's no way to get past this easier though. This burn lasts forever. Yeah, but it doesn't really help me. Burn du the fact that Melodic is burnt Milotic is burned is not good because that doubles her physical defense. That said, she will never not be burned now because um uh, the AI only ever uses one full restore per Pokemon. <sighs> Grass not is what I need, but the problem is it's not gonna do enough to take it down. Yeah, and it has Recover, which is really annoying. But that's only HP. It's not very effective. If I do Grass Knot now... Got an idea. Oink, oink. sharply. If I'm going full item abuse, then why am I not using all my items? Uh, let's see. Okay, none of these really help. Cynthia knows what I'm trying to do. She knows what's coming. Alright, let's see if this works. Yes! The struggle is real. No, that was just a... That was no struggle. That was strategy. Alright, I got my whole team now. We, we just got one more wall to overcome here. 
Quash. All right, wait, what does this move do? Uses suppresses the target and makes its move go last. That doesn't help in a single battle. There goes all those buffs, but... Skin. Slightly too little. Okay, that's our last full restore. No more tricks at this point. Whatever damage it takes sticks. Bigger oof, I need that, uh, super fang. I hate how Earthquake is super effective against everyone. Just withstand. Yes! 
No! Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. All right. The shit luck is real. We don't have we don't have time to to stall. So please hang on. Oh, they definitely nerfed that ability. Where were you when I needed you the most? Fucking dead in a ditch. None of these moves are good. None of these moves are good. Okay, Earthquake. Earthquake. You've got to be kidding me. It can't end like this. After all I went through here. Now, Earthquake is special. I'm having so much issue with this. I cannot believe that this is happening. Claw. No, I didn't even get a chance. Oh my god, that does so little. It was not worth it. I should have just not bothered. I should have not even bothered. I should have just stopped and thought it through and not bothered. I cannot believe I'm in this situation again. I cannot believe it's the same shit with a different wrapper on it. Oh my god, I'm out of full heals. This is, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. I hate it. went down the drain. <laughs> oh. If I had just super fanged. If I had just super fanged. I 
I thought she could only use one per Pokemon. Dragon Guard 3 Romancing Level 2 Saga 2 levels of stupid final boss fights. Yeah, but I heard in Romancing Saga 2 you could just speed haste time and make the enemy miss their turns. Which is real cool. Don't let the final boss do anything to win. This attack will hit with double the power, but it also only hits with half the power because it's strong against it, so that's 65. And it's special. But I'm also getting a boost because it's the same type. So 130. 130. Plus. 65 is 195. 195 divided by 2. Ninety-seven. So it's technically still more powerful than drill pack. Let me go first. Damn it! <sighs> really? That was all I was planning. That was all I needed. I I can't risk Olivia. She's gonna get knocked out in one hit if I if if I don't go first, or if I I can't. I can't do it. You did it that time? I... I'm not doing Torrent. God, no. Please, just give me the quick claw. Yes. Don't miss, don't miss. Be enough. Be enough, yes! Holy shit. Oh, now that is a clench win if I ever did see one. minutes ago you were the most powerful challenger and just now you became the most powerful of all the trainers you are now our newest champion <sighs> I want to thank the Academy uh, yeah no oh my god that was a lucky that that was oh that's gonna go down as one of one of my greatest moments ever on stream that was excellent truly an outstanding battle you gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. This, um, that's, that's how I won the very original red and blue. I, I won against blue with a, uh, a fissure from my Charizard. On his Blastoise, and I and I managed to beat him. Whew. 
Yeah, no, the rematch with her is insane, apparently. She has, like, level 80 to 90 Pokemon. She has a higher level Pokemon than Red's, uh, Pikachu from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which makes it the highest leveled AI Pokemon outside of a battle facility. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Michael, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Mmm, Machado enlisted in my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. Michael, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, Michael. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Michael, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokémon. Remember, your Pokémon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Cool Ranch, thank you for doing nothing. Was that lucky? My butt is still clenched. Just under 40 hours, nice. It also doesn't count resets for uh, Dialga and Cynthia. Cynthia's the only trainer I lost to. tell this is a pre-rendered cutscene because of the uh, artifacting. Whew. Okay, so uh, that was a uh, that was a that was an, an ordeal to say the least. I just really didn't want to have to redo all that and go back. Uh, and I guess now I could finally start the post game. Um, and I, at least I hit my goal. I got I beat the game before I went on vacation. Um, I'm gonna see. Uh, I don't have a lot of time left, but I want to see if I could at least uh, get the Lake Trio, so I could finish the Sinnoh decks and then start doing some post game stuff. There's um, there's that entire continent. There's Cresselia, Giratina, uh, some items to get. Oh, and then there's the replacement for the Pal Park, which uh, I don't want. I'm not even going to touch that till I come back, where you can get all the legendaries from uh, Gens 1 through 3. And it has a new battle theme for them, too, which is really cool. But I think to, uh, to actually use that facility, you need to um, you need to dig up plates that you find underground. Or, or tablets, specifically cartridges that look like uh, the old games, the DS games, the uh, the GBA games, and the and the uh, Game Boy games. Was I wearing those outfits when I went to those spots? think so. These all look like they were pre-made. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, because I was not wearing that outfit there. Wait, what? Did I say something wrong? I guess I should give my overall thoughts on this. Uh, it was fun. It's definitely bu a little buggy. Um, the, you know, Ilka has never made a Pokemon game before, so it's not perfect. Um, it's definitely not what people wanted out of a Gen 4 remake, but it's still, it's still Gen 4. If you've never played the original Diamond and Pearl, this is a pretty good replacement for it. It's got a lot more, a few extra Q uh, QOL functions in it, which make the game a little more accessible. But man, that, I don't remember the difficulty bump being that bad at the end. That said, um, the fact that this doesn't have most of Platinum's content in it, it's just not that, it's just, that's kind of what sucks more than anything. It's not even that it's a remake of Diamond and Pearl, it's the fact that there's no Platinum content in it. And I mean, it's, it was the same thing with, um, with the Gen 3 remakes. Uh, there was, there wasn't a ton of Emerald content in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. <clears throat> it's still very much stuck to the, to the original games. The problem is there was less, well, no, I guess there was the Battle Frontier. Um... But yeah, it's it's a bit weird, a bit weird in it. Um, and I mean, by that logic, let's go Pikachu and Eevee weren't that great of remakes either because they also didn't have stuff that Fire Red and Leaf Green had. Uh, but yeah, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, in my opinion, are still the pinnacle of the remakes. Good graphical style, good graphic style for the DS. Um, contained, you know, it, it's, it was still gold and silver, but had all of Crystal's uh, content in there. And they added a ton more to that game. A lot more. Even though Gen, even though Gen 4 run kind of runs like crap on the DS, and Gen 5 runs way better, I will say that Gen F the Heart Gold and Soul Silver are the best remakes. I would put these on par with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Alright, let me save before I do anything, just so we don't risk losing shit. Switch those back. Actually, what am I doing? I still want to raise... No, you know what? I want to raise... Why is this all messed up? Hold on. There we go. First off... Oh, I can't actually switch who's where. Okay. Put Olivia on top. She's the lowest leveled. I used so many healing items. I don't have any max revives left at all. I never got the super rod. Is that post-game only in this one? One star. 148 Pokemon seen. Hall of Fame debut, 1201-2021. Okay. So we're missing three Pokemon only, and it's these three right here. The Lake Trio. You're not far from seeing every Pokemon there is to see in Sinnoh. You're being nitpicky. Eh, it's alright. Michael, Barry came looking for you a while ago. I don't know what it is about, but he said he was shouting about you needing to get on a ship at Snow Point City. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project with Professor Rowan coming along? I don't know how much time I have left, and I really just want to finish the Pokedex, so... Anyway, Rampardose, you had your time out. Now it's time to have Olivia pop out for a bit.
Barry. Barry took off like a rocket as usual. He was shouting something about becoming the greatest trainer ever. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. So what can I do now? There's a few there's a few things. Head to where Barry is calling you. Alright. Maybe we could go there first real quick. I mean there's a Pokemon up here anyway, so. Bird legend? No, there's no legendary birds in this game, I think. I mean, there are, but they're only in randomous, ra ran my, ram in my ass park, uh, which I'm not doing tonight. I'm gonna be saving that for later. What is it? Do you want to sail to the battle zone? What is it? The battle zone is rough to get to. The sea around it's always roiling with choppy waves. You can't go there using surf, that's for sure. So, Battle Zone is this continent up here. It's a whole little post-game area. I can also now get to the rest of Victory Road and go up here. There's actually a path that goes up here where Shaman is, but uh, the only way to get up there right now is by glitching into it. There's also a new path over here. Uh, there's a way to get to... I don't know how, but there's a way to get to an island, to this island, I believe. Not this one, but this one. And, uh, there's just some various other stuff, and yeah, and then Randomus Park should be open. Alright, right, then. Let's sail! Honk. Oh, hey, Michael. What took you so long? I'm finding you a hundred million. Listen up. I'm going to become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here. To toughen up myself and my Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't help overhearing that. But the greatest trainer ever? It's going to be really tough because you're talking about me. To prove it, I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You really don't know anything, do you? Alright, I'll tell you. This is the battle zone, okay? At its far end is a volcano. And deep inside that volcano, there's supposed to be a treasure. So, what's the big deal? If I find that treasure, that'll make me the greatest trainer ever? That's what I'll do then, Michael. And you too, stranger. That treasure is mine. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya. I'm going to the volcano first to get the treasure. It's me too, but first I'm going to go to the battle tower and see my dad. That guy just can't stay put, can he? Anyways. Howdy, I'm Buck. If that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. So do you know that zippity dippity trainer? You should chase after that guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You'd better shape up at the battle tower first. I don't like your chances of getting to the volcano otherwise. Be seeing ya! Howdy, trainer. You have a Pokedex, do you? I bet the person who gave you that Pokedex is waiting for you to fill it completely. Go out and challenge other trainers. They'll often have different Pokemon, so your Pokedex should fill up in no time flat. Yeah, again... This game is this game's weird. Pokedex completion for the main game is based on scene only. And they block off a lot of the post game until you fill it out. They kind of like require you to fill it out. Fight area. Battles galore. Whenever I travel somewhere new, I get excited over what I might discover. But the places I've visited before, even those can throw me with new discoveries. Pull this out in a while. When Heat ran, when I finished the Pokedex. Your Pokemon are from Sinnoh, aren't they? We're used to seeing some of those kinds around here. So is this not technically Sinnoh? Like, that's what I've always wondered. Is this island not technically part of it? Because it's not the mainland. But then Gen 7 established that, uh, you know, a, a, a region can be just be multiple islands. Anyway, I'm not going to explore here now. I'll save that for when I come back from vacation. The best trainers gather here, not just from this region, but from all around the world. Battle Tower's as tough as they say. It's no cakewalk, that's for sure. And yeah, I'm not going to be doing Battle Tower stuff too extensively. Um, it's not easy. 
the guy who runs the battle tower is uh, Barry's father. Which is kind of like, it's kind of like a reveal, but not really. In fact, I don't even know if they straight up say it. It's just implied that he's, he's Barry's dad. Because he's got yellow hair and he also speaks very quickly. To strengthen myself, to strengthen my Pokemon. For that alone, I have come. Don't do that. I forget his name. Nard? I don't know. There are no pit stops on the road to toughness. I just made that up, but it sounds pretty cool, don't you think? Volcanic activity has caused the land around here to become craggy. It's hard enough to hike over such rough terrain, even without all the ups. Okay, now I gotta stop. Palmer. See, every time I hear the name Palmer now, I think of Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, no, my Bieber. Yep, yeah, my Bieberel really pulled it through. Nope, wrong, wrong area. All right, let's fly home. So now I can just fly to this area. Okay, I'm ready for frustration. Could have done this before I went to the champion, but I chose not to. Misprit flew off somewhere. Does that at least count as seeing it? Michael, that was Misprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I asked you to do at Canalave Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokémon of the lake, and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokémon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepened the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Michael, why don't you chase after me, Sprit? To me, it seems as if it wanted to play with you. If you'd use that marking map app on your Pokéch, you'd be able to track the movements of Pokémon. Go on, Michael. I'm sure that you will keep meeting countless Pokémon and people. Those encounters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you'll enjoy that experience. Take care, Michael. Yeah, so the other two fight you in the cave. Uh, me, Sprit, you have to chase after. Does it actually count as seeing it? Yeah, it did! Nice, so I don't actually have to chase it right now. I could go after it later. Okay, yeah. What this is what this uh, this is what this app is really useful for. It shows you roaming legendaries. Uh, of which there's only two. Spooks, please? N no, I'm not gonna do that tonight. Again, I'm on very- t I'm, I'm on kind of a tight timer here, so... I'm gonna just get the other two Lake Trio and, uh, call it for now. Because I have to, uh, Nessie's gonna be here soon, I'm gonna have to- we're gonna eat and then we have to go to bed, because we have to be up at, at like, 4, 4 a.m. to get our, uh... Uber to the airport. Okay, where's the second lake? Uh, it's over here. I think, I'm pretty sure I had a Bibarel on my roster at the end of Diamond, but at the same time, it's like, that was different, because uh, I didn't use it, it just had HM moves, and also, I just seem to recall it being way, way more useful, or way, way, I, I, I've, uh, I recall the game being way easier. I really need full restores.
Oh, I need to go buy more, uh... I need to go buy more Moo Moo Milks, too. Let's put in a post-game costume, though. Uh, spring, Eevee, yeah, let's go spring style. So does anything ever happen in here or no? Spring style reminds you of Luke from Professor Layton. Yeah, he kind of does. Blue mail boy cap, newspaper boy cap. I guess I'm good on full restores. I didn't use a whole ton of them. I just have no more max revives, which sucks. But I think we can kind of ease into it from here on out. We don't have to rush into it. Obviously, the, the Pokemon League is a very special ex exception. Dude, come on. What are you doing? Move. Oh, the trees are still here. Uh, how do you open this? So if you look very carefully, you can actually see a path on the ground there that you can walk on. Uh, there is a way to make those trees go away. But I thought just beating the game did that. Maybe I was wrong. In uh, the original Diamond and Pearl, there was stuff like if you put a Gen 3 cartridge in the in the DS slot, uh, it would make certain Pokemon spawn depending on the on the cartridge. So you essentially had five ways to get more Pokemon, and then it also differed between each version. Thank you. As elf. I always I always get those remixed up. I love that. I love the animation for that move. It's so silly. Azelf disappeared deep into the cavern. Sorry, Azelf. Oh, shit. Alright, well... Okay, I gotta restart then.
Hoppity. <laughs> they laugh like a little gremlin. You have two plushies of the lake trio. Nice. Did I save in front of the lake? Yes, I did. So, there is a failsafe for these. This isn't like the older games where if you knock them out, they're gone for good. But I, I don't remember what the trigger for it is. I think it's possibly entering the Hall of Fame again, and I don't have the patience to do that. So I'm just going to restart until I catch them. See, it's that easy. Alright, two down, one to go. It is known as the being of willpower. It sleeps at the bottom of the lake to keep the world in balance. Nope. Put it in the box. Oh, I need to get the, uh, there's, a, there's another poke H. There's a few more poke H. Damn it. Yeah, I'm missing about four apps. 17, 18, 19. So three. I could have swore one of these chambers had, um, an item in it. Maybe I'm thinking of the Gen 5 equivalent. I wonder if that counts, just because... What's-his-name didn't count? Nope! I was gonna say, because Manafi technically doesn't count. Neither does Fionn, but you can't get Fion until you can get Ditto, which is national decks only. Let's see, I think there's the checker... There's the... There's the... The chaining app. That lets you get shinies and stuff easily. shop. The glitchy shop where you walk through the wall. You just go over here and you just kind of like... There you go. Just walk through the wall real quick. Okay, we're actually good on, on most balls here. I should really just look up to see if that Mushroom Fanatic is anywhere, otherwise I could just sell all those. Okay. Alright, one more to go, and then we'll be good. If I could just see this last Pokemon, or catch it, then I will have achieved everything I set out to do today, and I will be happy. These repels, eh.
Yeah, I should. I don't know why I didn't. It makes this a little bit easier, a bit quicker. I like the spring look. My character looks fresh to death. Quick ball. No luck. Again, this game would have benefited heavily from a soft reset. Thing. lakes you'll probably get the chance to see the great lake michigan while you're in chicago maybe i don't know what i'm gonna get a chance to do honestly i have to see what's gonna happen when i get there i will check it out if i can though Pal, just be easy. I think Nessie's here. She's, she's trying to figure out where to park. need a lucky catch here. Like, one lucky break. Come on. End it with the Master Ball. Uh, You know what? You're right. I, th I think I should do that.
Yeah, I don't know why I always save these. Yeah, let's let's just end this. Master Ball. I feel dirty using them, but whatever. Waluigi's underpants ball, if you look at it from upside down. Known as the being of knowledge, it is said that it can wipe them out the memory of those who see its eyes. And box it goes. Out of here. Get the hell out of here. I gotta, I gotta wrap this up, because I'm getting annoyed texts from multiple people now. Hi, Michael, may I see your Pokedex? Oh my gosh, you've seen every kind of Pokemon in Sinnoh! Have you shown your Pokedex to the professor yet? Ah, oh, Michael, you come to show me your progress! Hmm, so you've seen 151 Pokémon. Bravo! You recorded all the Pokémon in Sinnoh. This will help immeasurably with my studies on Pokémon evolution. Greetings, Professor Rowan. It's been a very long time. I'll tell you, Sinnoh is certainly a long trip from Kanto. Of course, if it means meeting new Pokémon, there's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, if it isn't my old colleague, Professor Oak. Should have expected as much from the world's authority on Pokémon. We always used to joke, where there are Pokémon, you'll find Oak. It's good to see that hasn't changed one bit. Professor Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. This youngster has filled every page of the Sinnoh decks for me. Ah, well, very glad to meet you. As you've heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Rowan lately. He's been exuberant in praise about a fantastic young trainer. I see that you live up to... No, that you've surpassed his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I had to run an errand for Professor Rowan on my visit here. He asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex. So since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. After all, there are many kinds of Pokemon in this world of ours. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Dex. However, I'm sure you'll make an honest attempt on our behalf. Have no fear, Michael will get the job done. By the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Ah, yes, I've heard that Raminus Park is now open. If I recall correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. Raminus Park is a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokémon from every region. I've come to make certain that the system is operating properly. Michael, you should make an effort to visit Raminus Park, too. Oops, I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. Okay, it was a pleasure seeing both of you. Bye now. Off he goes, busy as ever. Now, Michael, I have a gift here as a reward for completing the Sinnoh Dex. Poke Radar app. That's the Pokemon Radar, or just Poke Radar for short. Use it and it will indicate grass patches where Pokemon are lurking. I prepared that to help my field assistants put together the Sinnoh Pokedex, but you took care of that. I'm sure it'll be useful in your goal of filling the National Dex. The world is immense. There are many more Pokemon. That means there are many more thrills for you to seek and enjoy. Dude. Hi there, it's been a while. When I heard you defeated the Elite Four and entered the Hall of Fame, I rushed straight here to congratulate you. I mean it. Great job. All the other gym leaders are really happy for you, too. But you know, we gym leaders aren't going to take this lying down. Losing to you was rough on all of us, yet we still have our pride as Sinnoh's eight gym leaders. Now we're all determined to beat you this time. So if you don't mind, could you give us all another chance with a Pokemon battle? 
We'll each be waiting for you at our own gyms. You know where to find me. Orberg Gym. Thank you, plot device. Hey, Michael, have you ever chatted with my kid's sister? Tried venturing all over the Sinnoh region. Still can't fly. Oh, look, there's another path up here now, though. You could see, um... Kind of like a little white spot up there. Okay, cool. Well, I have to stop here. And I I've made as much progress as I can. Um, we've... We did it! We finished the game before I went on vacation. And now I get to, uh, enjoy my trip. Uh, I'll be back next week. Tuesday, probably. Uh, with maybe more of this. Uh, maybe Danganronpa. Yata, indeed. Maybe something else, I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe more than one sequel of a game. I'm not sure yet. If you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. My auto host will take you to someone once I go offline. You'll have a great evening. Remember, your dreams are closer than you think. I'm not good at giving motivational speeches, but I'm still on a high from Kira getting cast as Jolene. I'm so happy for her and for everyone. You all take care. I will see you when I get back from vacation. Goodbye.